schedule time. Everybody's favorite time of year. Bill's got a uh, a bunch of a uh, what? That's not a watch. It's May. Oh, this is the way too early, hey, way schedule, too early prediction. schedule prediction. Yeah. Schedule time. Let's go. <laughs> Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Yeah, but record prediction hey, for the Buffalo Bills wins and losses. We will go through each team, Yeah, give our two cents. And then we're going to say whether or not the Bills will win or lose that game. Right. Okay. So, opening of the season, Thursday night football, season opener going against the L.A. Rams. Loss. Loss. <laughs> <laughs> the defenses are so, like, that defense is so scary sometimes. Yeah. I, I just it's so I, scary. Sometimes it, 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 offenses just take a take a little bit of time to get going. I want to say win. I want it to be a win, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, y'all wanna you wanna get because we saw at the beginning, you know, what happened last year. Buffalo Bills went to the AFC Championship game the previous season, and then they just got gassed up the entire offseason. How great they were, mm -hmm. and then Pittsburgh comes and humbles them. Right, and then they just smash three th three teams in the right. Market, you know what I mean, yeah, true. Those weren't very good teams. It was Washington, Houston, and um, I can't remember. But the point is, slump busters. They need. <laughs> they needed that. Yeah, and it wasn't a knock. If you lose to the defending Super Bowl champions, it's not a knock. It's not, and we're just saying, okay. They start the season on one, and uh, on Thursday night, and they come back, and then the revenge tour starts. Yes, it sure does. Monday night uh, at home against the Tennessee Titans. Side note, big announcement about that. The hashtag golf tournament officially happening Sunday, September 18th, the day before the Monday night tournament, or the Monday night game. That's it. So if uh, you want to join us for the hashtag charity golf tournament, the not so invitational, uh, we'll have promo for that. Um, it was a great time last year. We had a bunch of people come from the that watch the show we you know rick was there and john veneron showed up and uh yeah. tim the pirate showed up and we had a great time um but it was it was pretty sean big event sean, oh, sean rogers came in yeah yep. so we had a lot of uh it was a fun event we gave away football jerseys we had autograph merch we had a silent auction we raised uh, a ton of money for uh, matthew 25 farms which we love rick thank you so much Yep. And uh, that will be happening again September 18th. Mark it at your calendar. Diamond Hawk Golf Course. Yep. Um, get a foursome together. We will be there. We'll do a show. Um, so it'll be great. Fun. It'll be so much fun. I think that the Revenge Tour will start on that Monday. And they will win in a blowout. Yeah. I think they'll blow the Tennessee Titans out. Yeah, you know what happened? The schedule was already done. And then they traded A.J. Brown. And you could just see everybody in the schedule room go... <laughs> to the Eagles. <laughs> like, to the Eagles? No. Why? We didn't schedule them for shit this year. They're going to be bad. So, right. the Buffalo yeah. Bills will go one, one, and one. one and one. Okay. Miami. Uh, we're at Miami week three. Daddy's coming home. I don't mind playing Miami in Miami on short rest after a Monday night game. I am actually totally okay with that. It's Josh Allen against the Miami Dolphins. Daddy's coming home, and the Bills are 2-1. That's that's the way I see that. The real question is, will two of you starter still? <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to ask you a question. Yeah. Has Have the Dolphins – because they don't have a bad team. Like, no, I'm, they don't. I always no, they tell don't. the I always give them more credit than they probably deserve. I had them going 12-5 and five last year. I thought Dolphins going 12-5 and five, because I didn't think two was going to be Admittedly, at the beginning of the season, looked bad. End of the season, they were on a roll. Yeah. I almost made the playoffs. Um, true. Now, what's holding them back to me is Tua. Yeah. That and, problem's not solved. Yeah, that problem yeah. is not solved. Seriously, somebody tell him. He's freaking right-handed. He's got to be. He's got to be right-handed. You know what? Point. If he could just kick a ball, Buffalo would sign him as a punter. All right. That's week three. Oh, you took them for a win? No, my point was this. Oh. Has, have the Dolphins replaced the Jets in the because you've always said for years, it's the Jets. Is it the Dolphins replaced the Jets on? Because the Jets seem a lot better. The Jets a lot better this draft. They they just 
they pieces pumped yeah. it into submission. I would say, I would say, I would venture to say <laughs> that what the AFC West did in free agency, yeah. the AFC East did in the draft. Yeah. Because the, the Jags own free agency. Not that that's going to work out. No, right? Not no, that no, that's no. going to work well, out. We have the most money. Spend the most money on toys. Yeah. Uh, you're at Baltimore. Loss. No. Yes. No. Oh, I'm going to tell you something that's going to yes. piss you. You're going to regret saying loss. Okay. There's no way Buffalo can lose this game. It's why? in Baltimore. Yep. Here's why. Why? In the last 200 and... There's... Okay. Since 19-whatever, it doesn't matter. Of 258... Is it 258... Somewhere around there, of about 260 teams that started the season two and two, less than 40 of them have made the playoffs. I just want that number to sink in. Of the first of 260, so plus I teams, have to I have to say they're going to win. Or they no, no, no make I'm not. Playoffs? I'm just saying that there's a statistical anomaly where if you start the season two and two, you have a like it's like a 16 percent chance of making the playoffs. The 19, and that's, I'm just letting you know that, so, that I, I heard this stat. I ver- I ran it. Crazy. It's verified. It is 100% true. I don't remember where. I don't remember who I heard it from, but it was on uh, Sirius on NX or uh, Sirius Radio on uh, NFL Network Sirius Radio, hmm. and it was one of their stat guys. And he's like, oh, there were like 250 some teams. I don't remember the exact numbers, but it was. Um, you know what? I can tell you the exact numbers. I venture to say that like. If it, if it was 40 out of 260 teams, I'd say like 30 of them in the past five years have done. Here it is. Out of 258 teams who've, who've finished two and or started the season two and two, only 30 of them have made the playoffs. That's 8.6%. I'd like to I'd like to say that 20 of those were in the past five years. I venture to say maybe because the one the one that sticks out in my mind was the 1994. 19, oh no, 1993 Cowboys. They started the season 0-2, and, and they won the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. That's a, that's an anomaly, though. We don't, that doesn't happen all the time. Uh, no, but I still think they lose. I still think they lose to Baltimore. In Baltimore. You're crazy. It's a different animal in Baltimore, man. You're crazy. They've never played there yet? No way. That's that's a kiss of death. That's a kiss of death, dude. Yeah, it's 11%. Yeah. I'm not. Uh, uh, I think they lose. Eleven percent, dude. It's kiss of death. You can't ever lose to Baltimore. Okay, okay, I'm going two and two. You're you're. Uh, I'm going three and one. You're two and two. Okay. Okay. Uh, at Pittsburgh, do you think Biscuits is still starting by week five? No, no. Biscuits won't be there. Okay. Um, no, Biscuits won't be starting. And, and you know they'll they'll feast on lucky guys. Okay. So I think that that'll be a win. Okay, so you're three uh, and rebuilding franchise. So I'll yeah, build they're, three they're and two. And you got rebuild. four and one. They're, yeah, I'm at four and one. You're at three and two. Any reasoning or? for Pittsburgh? Yeah. Oh, they're just gonna sissy slap the shit out of that franchise. They're they're in a bad spot. It's to a point where Tomlin's name is gonna come up on the chopping block, and they would be foolish to fire him. Okay. Like that's they're gonna be they're gonna be bad this year. At Kansas City. Before the bye, Ooh. they have a bye week seven loss. Man, mm-hmm. at, if it were Buffalo at home, I think they win. Buffalo at Kansas City, I think they lose. I think I'm Buffalo at, I'm at home, they two. win. Okay. Buffalo at home, they win. Buffalo we always say that. I mean, that that's so why, four and two, and that's the swing game that will always determine the AFC Championship for me. Mm-hmm. They're gonna play them. It was almost like when the Colts used to play the, the Patriots yeah. in the regular season. That game determined home field. Yeah, that's and that's what it was. Yeah, and you know, I know they, I know the Chiefs lost Tyreek Hill, but the fact is that Andy Reid once went an entire season without a wide receiver catching a touchdown pass. Mm-hmm. What? You don't remember the Dwayne Bow year? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. That was Kelsey's rookie season. Wow, that was a while ago. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, I think that this is the now. Before I get all the hate and stuff in the comments, I just think this is where the Bills. This is this is where they end up turning it up because they always have a little bit of a rough start. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Something happens. They have to have their metal tested for some reason, 
in the beginning of the season. Now, do I want them to be six and zero by this point? Absolutely. Of course, absolutely. I just these, these feelings that I have are like, okay, they're gonna lose this team, beat this team. You're playing Baltimore in Baltimore. That place is ridiculous. They've never played there before. That's hard to win. It's just very hard to win there, no matter how bad Baltimore may be that year. That that home field is crazy. They have to travel to play the Super Bowl champions. Okay. You know, but and um, who's the other team I have? Kansas City. You have to Kansas go to City. go to Kansas City. Yeah. So I just think uh, they're gonna be three and three going into the bye. If and then that's where they write the ship. If they were coming out of the bye, I'd actually feel better about it. But they're going into the bye, and it's a week seven bye. Yes. Um, they come out of the bye, so you're at three. So you're you're at three and three. I'm at four and two. Okay. Uh, they are at home against the Packers Sunday night football after the bye. Jordan Love will be playing, right? Nah. Yes. Nah, not with nah. No, uh, I think they win. They I think they beat home. the Packers. I think they beat the Packers. I think they're just going to have. I th- That's going to be a good game, though. I think That's what you'll be see. It'll be a good game, but I think what you'll see is this. You'll see two superstar quarterbacks where, by the way, other than O.J. Howard, Josh Allen is the only first round drafted player on the entire offense. Much like Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Much like Aaron Rodgers. Okay. But you I think what you'll see and people will analyze after that game is you'll see what happens when you surround um, your quarterback with talent and how much what happens when you just pay one guy all the money mm-hmm. and, and not anybody else. else. Right. Yeah. Okay. You just right. you're gonna see the difference in that game of okay, this is what you have when you sign a Balance your team out versus, hey, we have this guy so we can win any game. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I think yeah. they're, now they're four and three for me. Okay. Yeah, and I have them at five and two. Okay. Um, I, th- I think Green Bay's going to come in and try and run Buffalo out. Run the ball? Yeah. Because they're built for the best. They still are. Right. But they beefed up that line. You're at New York. Uh, you're at the Jets. Sorry, let me be. You're at the Jets week nine. I think that's a win, but not by much. The Jets are really – and a week nine Jets team is a lot more dangerous than a week two Jets team. Yeah, the first time you play them week nine? Yeah. Jesus. I know. So that they're they're going to be tough yeah. to beat at the end of the season. Yes. But I still take them as a win here. I have them at six and two. I got I, I got like a 17 to 10 game. I think it's going to be a battle because you got two very – Stubborn defensive head coaches. They're going to be right, but at that point, Zach Wilson may have lost the will to live. <laughs> With those weapons, come on now. Did you see that line? Yeah, they have that offensive right. line. Jesus. All right, week ten, you are at home against the Vikings. Now, mind you, you're at the Jets, and then you have two games at home. So, you're, uh, the Vikings is week ten. Uh, I believe that that will be a win. I have them losing to the Vikings. I don't have them losing to the Vikings because the Vikings will see what the Packers tried to do with running the ball, mm-hmm. and they will see that that doesn't work. And they'll, they'll, they'll shoot themselves in the foot not running Cook enough. See, you know what? I see that differently because Dalvin's going to be playing against his little brother. I think Dalvin's going to shoot. Dalvin's just playing against his former team. Like, yeah. I'm just saying that. I'm just saying. One touches the ball 30 times a game. <laughs> Yeah, I think I because here's the misnomer, right? Kirk Cousins put up Aaron Rodgers numbers last year, and everybody was talking about Rodgers as the MVP, and nobody paid attention to Cousins because it's Kirk Cousins. Because he went nine and eight. Right. That's but Cousins put up put up Rodgers numbers he like they were the same. So I I have him actually losing the Vikings. Here. And again, I would rather punt the NFC game, right? Like I've got to punt one. Yeah. I'll punt the well, NFC game. Are you punting two so far? Yeah. So you're six and three. I'm six and, and I'm six and three. We're back to even. Okay. Uh, the Browns. Uh, you have the Cleveland at home, week eleven. A win. Yeah. I, just, I think that's the only circled win that I have. Guaranteed. Mm, disagree. What? Who else did that? Well, they have Detroit week twelve. <laughs> so I got to try to beat Detroit, uh, but they're at Detroit. But yeah, no, I haven't beaten Cleveland again. I, you just don't know what's going you on in the quarterback situation. On. You know, like there's a lot. Well, they, they still have Chubb. They still have Hunt. They still have Mayfield. They still have Mayfield right now. <laughs> so that's what I mean. There's a lot going on there. So 
I think that's I think that's probably going to be a win. So I we're seven three. The, the Bills played the Browns two years ago, and that was two coaches ago. Yeah, that's right. For the Browns. That's right. All right, Detroit. Uh, you're at Detroit for Thanksgiving. I, I think that's a win. I just don't see how Detroit yeah, wins. It's turkey leg. So yeah, I just don't see how they win. Now eight and three. Eight and three. Uh, so okay. I, mean, I told you. But here we go. Now we're getting to the rest of the divisional games. You realize that one, two, three, four, five, six games remain on the schedule at this point. How many times do we pay the, play the Patriots? Zero. We played the Patriots zero no, so far. How many times do they play the Patriots? Right. We played them zero so far. And we've only played the Jets and the Dolphins once. So that means of your final six games, only two of them are non division games. That is weird. And uh, five of the last six games are conference games. Because yep, the Bengals are in there. So are the Bears. So Bears are the Bears. Is the only non-conference game. Right. So not an easy end of the season, no. right? Because all these teams inside the division now have the ability to ramp up Very to play you. But Buffalo has that same advantage, right? So who's a more dangerous team who's when they're more battle tested? Right. right. Who's who's a more dangerous team when they get rolled? The Patriots I mean, and Jets are the two. I mean, who are you playing now? The Patriots. You play the Patriots on Thursday night football after playing the Browns and the. Lions? After playing the Lions on Thanksgiving. That's no. Oh. Okay. You play the Patriots on Thursday night. Yeah, because it goes. So a week later. So exactly one week later. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, I think it's a win. I think it's a win too. I, I think when you're Von Miller and you, you're at New England. The first one's at New England? Yeah, you're at New England. So you're on the road for two Thursday night games. Uh, lost. No, eight no way, four. no way. Eight Nine four. and three. Nope, eight Nine four. three. Nope. I can't even debate you on this because it's such a stupid. That's so stupid to say they're going to lose to the Patriots at Foxborough. Dude, one of the reasons Von Miller came here was he's like, wait, I play Mac Jones twice a year? <laughs> Is that what he said? No, but he should. <laughs> That's one of those where, he's, where he takes the glasses off and he just thinks about it for a second. He goes, wait a minute. I got to play Mac Jones twice a year? Mac Jones? Wilson? Tua? Wilson and Tua can run. Oh, you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. Yeah. Yeah, they can run. Yeah, they can run. Um, yeah, I have a medal. I have a victory here. I'll let that one pass. We got to do it. We'll I get back to that. Yeah, I know you always, every time we do these way too early schedule predictions, you always have the Bills losing to the Patriots at Foxborough. They slapped the life out of that franchise in the playoffs. They took them behind the woodshed and slapped the life out of them. And you're gonna say they're gonna the Patriots are gonna beat the Bills at home. The old yeller. I'm gonna say that for situations out of the Bills' control, that's why they're gonna lose. Playing back-to-back Thursday traveling games. Okay. And okay. You, you, I, I you like just the fact that it's back-to-back Thursday night games. You just so came I off. Yeah, that. yeah. That's what I mean when I said the schedule is very advantageous to Buffalo. You're playing out Thanksgiving, and then you got to play another Thursday night game against the Patriots. Yeah. yeah, it's a division game, but then the next game you're also against another division opponent, but you get ten days, ten days to prepare. Mm-hmm. So play the Patriots, then now you play the Jets at home. Win. Yeah, hundred percent win. So I got you got ten days. Four, you got ten days got to prepare 10. for them. Yep. You have the Dolphins at home. This is a flex game. Dolphins at home? Dolphins at home. Win. Until yeah. until they could prove they could stop that man. You always I, look at when um, when you you always look two games down the road, right? You're always preparing for two weeks. So they play Thursday night against the Lions, Thursday night against the Patriots, and then they've got ten days to prepare for the Jets and the Dolphins. You can't get better than having to smash those two division opponents next to each other than getting ten days to go into that series of games. Well, I mean, and, and but you can't as, beat that. As far as I'm concerned, with the loss to the Patriots, that'll refocus them and they'll beat the crap out of both of those teams. Nah, they're gonna beat the they're gonna beat the piss out. You'd of them say they're gonna win three divisional games now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I got them at. Ten and four, and you got them at wait, wait, that's fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yeah, ten and four. I'm at eleven and three. Wow. Uh, Chicago. They don't even have a quarterback. But you're at Chicago. That doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't matter. Oh. Uh, 
so you got 12 and 3, and I have 11 and 4. Yep. Uh, Bengals, Monday Night Football. Ooh. Ooh. Where in your stat machine has somebody losing to the uh, two previous Super Bowl contenders <laughs> and then making it at playoffs? Yeah. Uh, I got to beat the Bengals. See, I think they lose the last two games of the season because they'll already have clinched the division and you're playing catch at up. At 12 and 3? Yeah. 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 They're going to mollywop everybody inside the division. This isn't even close. So I, there's, you can't convince me that the Jets are a nine win team. You can't convince me that the Dolphins are a 10 win team. You can't convince me that the Patriots are a 10 win team. You go, you win 12 games in the division, you clinch the division. They'll clinch the division by weeks. They'll clinch the division by so calendar that, week you, 17. You got them 12 and 5. I have them, yeah, I have them at 12 and 5. And they, they will clinch the division after the Chicago game. Bold prediction. They'll clinch the division after the Chicago game. Did I get them? Did I have a 13 and 4 then? Did I sneak ahead of you? Because I had them 11 and 4 winning out. Yeah. Yeah, you snuck ahead of me. Oh, so you're the mean guy this time. Well, at least mine makes a little bit more sense. Well, I got to win in 13 games, going 13 and 4. However, I don't have them with a cakewalk around the AFC East. No. Nope. I, I think that there could be three. Whoop. Got it. I believe that there could be three 10 win teams in the AFC East. See, it's interesting because. The Bengals, they're playing the Bengals on Monday night, and the Bills are not going to mail in a Monday night game, right? No. The NFL would would lose, lose their, their mind mo- if, if the, the Bills mailed in a Monday night game. I think it'll be a good game, but I – You mean if they both had their divisions clinched by that game? Well, that's what I mean. It could be – that could – That game might determine seeding after that. Yeah. Yeah. So they won't mail it in. No. Right. I don't think they'll mail it in. But I don't think you think they'll lose if it's on the line. If seating's on the line, they're they're in Cincinnati on Monday night. I'm thinking that the two teams that are probably they'll have too much chili the night before. You're saying, like, yeah, yeah, you can't get in trouble in Cincinnati. The only thing you can get is like tetanus. All right, and then uh, flex game home against the Patriots again. I think it's going to be just like last year. You're going to play the Patriots when really. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're going to lose to the Patriots? So you have them splitting with the Pats, and mm-hmm. that's their only division loss. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I only have them sweeping the Dolphins. Yep. And the Actually, I have them sweeping the Jets, don't I? Yeah, I got them sweeping the Jets and split with the yeah, – okay. So and I, listen, nobody said your judgment was good, okay. but your record is better. So, so you got 13 and 4. I got I 13 12, and 4 12, with, 12, with one NFC loss. Yep. Six and one, or five and one in the division. Mm-hmm. Nice little path to the number one seed. No. Because the AFC West is going to implode on itself. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. I, I will say that if Cincy remains to be the top team in that division, mm-hmm. right, that Monday night game could be for the number one seed. So I, well, I understand my schedule prediction is under the caveat that I don't think Cincy will be... I, I think Cincy will be first in their division. But I don't think they're going to have the best record in the AFC. Yeah, by that point, you're thinking that they may be like nine and six going into that game. Yeah, they may, they may have ten wins at that point, yeah. right? They may be staring at a twelve win season. Okay. Right, where Buffalo will already have twelve wins going into that game. So that's what I mean. Like, yeah, but you, momentum going into the playoffs is huge too. Yeah, and that's fair. That's fair. All right. What you, what's your guys' schedule prediction? Drop it down in the comments. See what you think. I can't believe I had a better record than you. The first time for everything. Yes. <laughs>